So I wanted to cover some interesting things about fasting. One is that fasting will increase your motivation to exercise. I'm going to cover that. But I also want to talk about something very, very important. And it basically has to do with hunger waves, okay? You want to ignore hunger waves. Now, what is a hunger wave? Well, it's a wave of hunger that if you ignore it, it will go away. What's causing the hunger is a hormone and it's called ghrelin, okay? Ghrelin is the hunger hormone and it sends signals to the brain telling you it's time to eat. And let's say, for example, it's lunchtime and you're getting hungry and you just ignore it, you get busy, whatever. Within two hours, you're gonna find it's gone. You're not hungry anymore, okay? Then at dinner time, it might come up again. If you ignore it, push through it, it goes away. So over time, when you fast, you have these waves of ghrelin up and down, up and down. But over time, they go further and further downward to the point where it becomes easier and easier to fast where you don't have that sensation of hunger anymore. So you have two things. You have one is the sensation of hunger. And number two, you have, wow, my blood sugars have dropped. I'm really hungry. I'm feeling irritable. I'm getting weak. I'm getting dizzy. Well, that means that you need to eat, but that's a lot different than a temporary wave of hunger caused by ghrelin. Fasting over a period of time will make you less and less hungry. Okay, it's very counterintuitive. You would think that not eating will make you hungry. It doesn't. And eating, especially repetitive eating, makes you more hungry. Every time you eat, you spike insulin and two hours later, now you're hungry and you need a little snack. So related to that information, try to ignore the hunger signals right now and fast longer. Now, I want to switch gears to something else very interesting. And this was based on a study involving mice, okay, not humans, but I find it to be true in humans. There was an increased urge to exercise when fasting, and they isolated that down to the same hormone, ghrelin. So ghrelin can actually make you want to exercise. What I want to know is if you've been fasting for a period of time, go ahead and put down in the comments section down below, if you find that when you fast, you do have this increased motivation to exercise. So if you get this spike in ghrelin and you're hungry, ignore those signals, but don't ignore the signals to exercise. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before